الله إليكم يقول السائل نرجو نصيحة للشباب في المحافظة على الصلاة فإن بعضهم يلعب لمدة خمس إلى ست ساعات ولا يحافظ على الصلاة في وقتها الشباب والكبار وكل مسلم يجب عليه المحافظة على الصلاة في أوقاتها ومع الجماعة حافظوا حافظوا على الصلوات والصلاة الوسطى وقوموا لله قانتين حافظ والذين هم على صلواتهم يحافظون فيجب على المسلم أن يحافظ على صلاته إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله أكبر فيها خير استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة وإنها لكبيرة يعني الصلاة شاقة إلا على الخاشعين الخشوع يسهل الصلاة الخشوع يسهل الصلاة على العبد إلا على الخاشعين نعم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب Alama Salih bin Fawzan ibn Abdullah al-Fawzan, hafizhullah ta'ala, he was asked, we ask you for some advice for the youth uh, regarding preserving their prayer. For verily, there, some of them uh, play during the time, uh, they pray for five or six hours and they do not uh, guard their prayers. During their time, Sheikh Salim bin Fuzan, Hafidullah Taala, responded by saying, "The shabab, the the youth, and the elders, every Muslim, uh, it's an obligation upon him to preserve his prayer during its time with the jama'a, with the jama'a, meaning the the group with the body of Muslims." And then he mentioned the ayat, "Hafidu ala salawat wa salat al wusta wa kumu lillahi qanitin." He mentioned the ayat where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says and orders us, "Preserve your prayers and the mid prayer, uh, and stand before Allah as one of the uh, the humble, obedient ones." Then the Sheikh said, Hafidhu, he ordered, he said, so, uh, you know, preserve the, the prayer or, or, or protect your prayer. And then he mentioned the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى الصَّلَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِذُونَ They are those who preserve their prayer. So it is an obligation, or therefore it's an obligation on the Muslim to protect his prayer. Verily, and then he mentions the ayat where Allah says, Verily, the prayer prohibits from uh, wickedness, like zina and things like this, and munkar in evil actions, and remembering Allah is greater. And then he said, and so therefore, in it is, is, is goodness. And then he mentioned another ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِصَبْرِ وَالصَّلَاءِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَ إِلَّا لَخَاشِينَ So then the shaykh mentioned the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, he said, uh, and, you know, seek uh, assistance and help from Allah with patience and prayer. And verily, that is kabira. You know, that's that's something. And then the sheikh explains. He says, yani, or it means that salat is uh, is is a difficulty. And then he mentions the rest of the ayat. Illa ala khashi'in. Except for those who have khushu, those, uh, those who have uh, humility and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he says, al khushu, or this humility or, or fearfulness, uh, makes it easy for the prayer upon the slave. And then he mentioned the, the verse again, Illa la khashin, except for those who are uh, who have this uh, fearfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this khushul, this this humility and this comfort in their hearts. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.